Police Inspector Jason Bartholomew Jones was here. He told me someone has murdered Mr. T. Mr. T was the owner of the local tea shop. I'd better get over there and look for clues. There's nothing in here. It's an insurance policy for the tea shop. If the place gets struck by lightning, and or hurricane, and or flood, and or fire, and or aliens, then the insurance company will pay one million pounds. This duster might be useful. Extra, extra, Mr. T from Mr. T's tea shop found dead. So, you know that Mr. T is dead. Maybe because you murdered him? What? No. It's all over the papers. I've been selling more papers than ever. Everybody wants to read about Mr. T's murder. So Mr. T's murder increased the amount of newspapers you are selling thus making you earn more money. Sounds like a motive to me. Mot- Um, yes. Thanks. I have nothing to say to him. This is my humble office. Hello, Mrs. Cena. I'm here to ask you a few questions regarding a crime that was committed last night. Oh dear lord, I'm too nervous to answer any questions right now. Especially because my wig looks terrible today. I'll be more relaxed once I sort out the wig problem. Oh, it's the famous Detective Sherlock Holmes. Hello. Oh dear lord, I'm too nervous to answer any questions right now. Especially because my wig looks terrible today. Oh, I could use the house from this duster to make a new wig. Thank you. Does that mean you are able to answer a few questions regarding Mr. T's murder which took place last night? Oh my lord, Mr. T was murdered? Yes, Mr. T was murdered. That's so terrible. I hardly think I can help. All I know is that Mr. T insured his tea shop here. My boss, Mr. Stuart McTavish, once said that if a hurricane hit Mr. T's tea shop, our insurance agency will go bankrupt. Thank you, miss. That's all I needed to hear. Wait. Please take my pet. I'm too weak emotionally to take care of it today. Here, its name is Krabby the Crab. Hello, I am here to investigate Mr. T's murder. Oh, dear lord, Mr. T was murdered. Yes, Mr. T was murdered! That is so horrible that I hardly think I can help. 
All I know is that Mr. T and my secretary, Mrs. Cena Cor K.O., had an affair. But at the end of it, he dumped her and left her broken-hearted and filled with anger and a will for revenge. Thank you, sir. That's all I needed to hear. You might want to use this newspaper to replace the old newspaper inside the bird's cage. It would help reduce the stench of this room. Thank you, I'd appreciate it. Please take this voucher for half price overnight stay at the Wellington Inn. Thank you. Hello, I am here to investigate Mr. T's murder. Adios mio. Mr. T was murdered? Yes, Mr. T was murdered! I am shocked. I used to work at his tea shop. I know my boss, Mr. Cheng Jun Wei, used to buy tea for our guests from Mr. T's shop. But he stopped after the last time he bought there. We had a cockroach inside the tea box. And that cockroach scared our guest. Mr. Cheng hated Mr. T ever since. Thank you, miss. That's all I needed to hear. Hello, I am here to investigate Mr. T's murder. So what do I have to do with this? I can't answer any of your questions until I kill the giant cockroach that's hiding inside. That cockroach is hurting my business. Alright, I have all day to wait. This doesn't work. There must be a big cockroach hiding inside. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Allow me, please. It's a well-known fact that cockroaches are attracted to sweets. Die, cockroach, die! If it were up to me, I would have killed all of you! It works! That cockroach will soon be dead! <laughs> Alright, I guess now you have the time to answer a few questions regarding Mr. T's murder. Did you say herder? No, I said murder. Well, I don't think I can help you much. I hardly knew him. I can tell you that Miss Isela Laura Espinosa, my housekeeper, used to work at Mr. T's tea shop. She even put out three fires in the shop, but for some reason, he decided to fire her. That is when I hired her to work in housekeeping. She hated Mr. T ever since and swore to get revenge. Thank you, sir. That's all I needed to hear. Uh, wait! I forgot to thank you for your help with the cockroach. Please take this record. That's a gramophone. Just as I suspected, there's a secret room behind this broken window. I need to find a way to cut off these chains so I can get through. I need...
This is it. I have all the information I need. I am pretty sure I know who the murderer is. I've solved the mystery. Mr. T's murderer is... The owner of the tea shop, Mr. T. Heavens to Betsy! Jeez Louise! Oh dear lord! How did you solve the case, Mr. Holmes? Well, that was easy for a smart and experienced detective such as myself. I started to suspect when I learned that Mr. T insured his tea shop for one million pounds. During my investigation, I understood that there were three fires at Mr. T's tea shop. But Mrs. Isella, Laura Espinosa, put them all out. That is what led me to think that she was fired because she interfered with Mr. T's intentions to burn the place down and collect the insurance money. Later on, I discovered a secret room inside Mr. T's tea shop. Inside, I saw a book showing that the sales went downhill at the tea shop. No customers means no money. Then I saw a picture on the wall and it all became clear to me. I saw a can of kerosene on the top shelf. Last night, Mr. T decided to carry out the plan. Now that he got Mrs. Etella Lara Espinosa out of the way, he was sure he would succeed. He went up on the ladder and brought down the can of kerosene. Somehow the ladder fell, sending Mr. T inside the big cup of tea in which he drowned. And now that I've solved the case, I'll go back to my office and tell my story to my dear friend Dr. Watson. Oh wait! I'm in my office! That means you all need to get out! Come on, get out! Ow!